Hi, welcome back. You must have heard about TDD, that is test-driven development. This is kind of interesting process, where we write unit test cases before even writing actual code. So, let's see how people do test-driven development. Test-driven development is iterative process, and every iteration is divided into three phases. First, we write unit test cases that are failing. Then second, we write code to make test cases pass which we wrote in first phase. And third, we refactor code while making sure that even after refactoring test cases pass. These three phases are also called as red, green, refactor. Let's take an example of developing cache class in Java. Before we do test-driven development, we should be clear about type functionality our class support. In case of cache class, we have three basic behaviors of cache class. First, it should be able to tell whether cache is empty or filled. Second, it should allow us to put key and value into cache. And third, it should allow us to return value for given key. Let's create empty cache test class and then empty cache class. Let's write out first test case which is failing. Remember, our first phase of test driven development, it's red we should write test case which is failing. Here we will create instance of cache class and then assert whether cache is empty. Here we can see as empty method is not written yet. Let's create stubbed implementation of as empty method and throw exception for now. If we run our program now, our test case will fail. Now, next phase is to make this test case green. To do same we need to write correct implementation for our cache class. For implementation, we will create one map inside cache class and invoke is empty method. If we run our test case now, our test case should be passing, it means it is in green phase. There is no room for optimization of this code, so refactoring is not needed for this test case. Let's write second test case to assert cache is not empty. To do same, we will create instance of cache and invoke put method of cache class. But, Put method doesn't exist now. We will stub implementation of put method and throw exception. Let's assert that cache is not empty. Now, if we run our test case then it will fail and that is our goal of first phase. Writing test case that actually fails. Now let's go ahead to cache class and implement actual logic to make our test case pass. Here, we will store key and value into map. Now, if run our test case, then it should pass. It means we have completed green phase. No refactoring is needed for this test case. Last functionality of cache class is, it gives us value for given key. Let's write failing test case for this use case. We will create cache instance and put key and value into cache. We will assert get method of cache class. But this method does not exist. We will create stubbed implementation of get method and throw error. If we run our test case, then we have our failing test case. Let's write implementation to make this test case pass. If we run our test case now, then it is passing. It means we have completed our green phase here. Here, we are seeing one possible optimization. If value doesn't exist for given key, then instead of returning null, we should throw compile time exception, so client of get method knows that he should handle null pointer exception. This is where refactor phase comes. Let's write final test case to check if get method throws exception. We will create test case which expect exception. And here we will create instance of cache class and call get method. If we run test case now, it will fail because get is not throwing exception. Let's change implementation and throw exception. Here we have to change signature of get method as well as test cases. If we run our test cases now, then they all are passing. So this was test driven development. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.